alias series short review. Sydney Bristow is a an agent for SD6, which is a black ops division of the CIA, or so she thought it was. She finds out that she has been working for the very enemy she thought she was fighting, and she starts working for the CIA as a double agent and trying to bring down SD6. And the show has a lot of moral grays and necessary evils with people who are clearly very moral, but they have to break the rules. They have to, very, you know, do awful things in order to accomplish the good things, you know, or maybe just to prove to the, the bad guys that they can still trust them, because otherwise they wouldn't be able to do all the good that working so close to them, you know, the, the better the enemy you know and keep your enemies, you know, keep your friends close, that kind of thing. And it's, you know, it gets very comic booky and over the top at times, but also has a level of realism that, you know, it, it goes back and forth between those and, and balances them quite well. The acting is amazing. This has a stellar cast and it actually favors, I mean, we, we do have a few young people, but both main cast and you know, guest characters, it favors the, the middle-aged, and it always treats them with respect. There's never someone who's just senile or old and worthless or anything in this. The, you know, quite the opposite. They've been around, so they they have a lot of experience, and yeah, they they do tend to be much more capable than the younger ones. They they still look great, some of them, the ones that are meant to still look sexy. And it's a show that very much empowers young women because as even though she is a female spy, she never actually has to have sex with any of the people that she goes in and tries to get information from. Rather, she has such strong sex appeal that she can get them to lower their guard and she accomplishes what she's there to do without ever having to have sex with them. Granted, she will, you know, wear something very sexualized, but it, you know, her sexuality is not her main strength. It's just one of them, and it's always in her control, which is a lot like the Star Trek's Deep Space Nine and Voyager. And she also gets to just be a human being. She's not, you know, she is a woman, but she's not just a woman, and she, her strengths don't just come from her ability to reach the masculine, to, to do well at traditionally, you know, masculine and male-oriented, you know, abilities. She, you know, her femininity is a tool as well, and yeah, she gets to be herself. We, we also see that, you know, yeah, women can look natural and still look amazing. You know, they don't have to constantly be putting on a, you know, they, they can just relax and still be amazing. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.